Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline and Adam at Pixie Dust PhD. Today we had the really rare experience, I would say, of getting to do some probably fine dining, close to fine dining. At the Waldorf Astoria, we had dinner at Bull and Bear. I booked this through Open Table. It was really easy, simple, straightforward, much less stressful than Disney Advanced Dining Reservation. So highly recommend if you're looking for a good meal. This definitely was a special experience for us. We didn't necessarily have an excuse, but I just really wanted to do it. And, you know, basically since our hotel nights feel free to us, <laughs> uh, we did DVC for two nights and then a resort credit last night. And then the Waldorf Astoria tonight we're doing on a free rewards night. So I was like, well, let's just blow a lot of money on one meal. <laughs> yeah, I don't think um, either of us has really done this type of fine dining experience. And I think it was a great excuse because of kind of like Jacqueline said, the, the logistics of our trip. And um, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. So Bull and Bear is a steakhouse. And I think, you know, the highest level of steakhouse I've really ever done is like a Ruth Chris or like a Morton's, like a, it's good. You know, it's, it's better than Outback Steakhouse, but <laughs> you know, it's a chain and it's like a pretty normal restaurant experience. I would say this was not that this was another level. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's pretty crazy. It's like literally they come and like they tuck you into bed. Yeah. And give you a kiss on your on your cheeks <laughs> and read you a bedtime story yeah. for every step of your meal. It was really above and beyond. So first of all, it's like a real steakhouse where everything is super dark. So I apologize that the pictures and footage you're going to see are probably a little bit grainy. My camera doesn't do great in, you know, minimal light. But basically we checked in and then the menu as, you know, especially the wine list is so expensive that it's on uh, an iPad they give you. Because <laughs> literally it's too dark to actually read printed text. They also give you that. an iPad yeah. for the entire menu. So the wine list was amazing, but also the cheapest bottle of red was, I think, $80. Yeah. So that's like, there were some cheaper whites, but you're at a steakhouse, so you're probably going to order a red, I would guess. <sighs> So that's like the bar <laughs> that we're setting here. When yeah. when we go out to eat, if we do get a bottle of wine, um, it's often red and we're usually paying between like 30 and $40. Yeah. And that's like a bottle that's probably like $12 at your local wine store. And uh, we ended up getting, well, we ordered, I think a $90 bottle of wine, but then they were out of it. <laughs> so we had to, to pivot and we ended up with a $100 bottle of wine that I think probably is like a 20 to $30 bottle, you know, at a wine store. Yeah, it was good. It's just uh, that that kind of extravagance is typically a very painful for us. Yes, <laughs> especially on the alcohol part. The food is easier for me to excuse, but the alcohol is a little harder. But yeah, just so like if you're planning on going to Bull and Bear, like that eighty dollars was the the bottom barrel wine that you could buy for a whole bottle. You can obviously get glasses for cheaper, but economically for us, the bottle is usually a better deal. So we got sat on a really great leather couch with some pillows and we got to sit on the same side of the table and we sat down, they like pulled the table out and we sat down and then they pushed the table towards us. And literally there was like a table of five or sorry, a team of five people that were taking care of us. Um, Kelly was probably our main waitress. She was awesome. Um, but you know, various people rotated through and, and refilled waters or dude, whatever. And then, like after we sat down, one of them came and literally like, put the napkin in your lap like it's that kind of place so following you know sitting down and going through the very very expansive wine list and menu on the ipad uh they come around with bread service so there is sourdough and little focaccia rolls and then like a pull apart rosemary brioche the that brioche was the yeah it was insane it was so good oh and also they give you butter from Vermont, lightly salted. Apparently it's the best butter in the States. I mean, they're just hyping up their bread service, but I mean, it was pretty good. It was, it was good. It was good. We probably <laughs> ate more bread than we needed to. Yeah, for sure. Then we ordered the um, Caesar salad, which is made table side for two. And then we got a Chateau Brian, which is um, basically like a long filet. Yeah. A long filet, like a, a loin of filet that they, you know, sear really nicely. And that comes with potato pave as a side. So that's what we ordered. Um, if you aren't getting wine, I would say, you know, even if you're just getting an app and an entree, or honestly, even just an entree, I wouldn't count on getting out of here under like $70 a person. I mean, I you're going to be, you're going to be spending per person somewhere between 100 to $200 yeah, I per think, person. I think that's accurate. Uh, just in general. Like if you're in a, whatever your style is, right? 
go in expecting to spend 100 to 150 bucks person, 200 per person if you're doing alcohol or any desserts. Know, desserts, yeah. I think the dishes we got were probably the more economical ones. Yeah, weirdly. they were because the, the four reasonable. Two, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's crazy. The, the Caesar <laughs> obviously I think was was very good, and the whole table side experience when they make it in front of you is very cool. Uh, it's like you know dinner and a show almost, yeah. right? But it's certainly you know not worth it for a bunch of leaves. Let's be honest. But you know we definitely enjoyed the experience. I think overall it was very cool for something we've never done before. Yeah. Um, and I think it was a pretty unique uh, opportunity for us uh, to actually go and, and, and witness and, and experience it. Yeah. So the Caesar is, a, you can, you have to get it for two people. There's not a single portion or I don't know if you had four people, I'm sure you could order a bigger portion. But um, so yeah, they come make a table side. The, the portion for two, I think was $44. So it's $22 a person. And it's, it, there's no protein or anything. It's just, it's just the Caesar salad. But yeah, they make the dressing in front of you. They tell you what's going into it. They used a sous vide egg yolk. So it's like safe, um, which I thought was a really nice touch. And then it's pretty normal Caesar ingredients, I would say. You know, you've got salt, pepper, lemon, garlic, anchovy paste. They add a little Dijon mustard, though, which you could taste. It has some uh, like a slight hint of tang and like a little bit of kick to it more than I think a normal Caesar salad would. And they give you, you know, they top it off with extra Parmesan cheese. And they have house made focaccia croutons and it's all really really good is it a 22 dollar salad like probably not no <laughs> but i'm glad we ate it i mean i enjoyed it yeah i mean it was cool like i haven't had a table side prepared caesar before ever ever and i think that's something that very that some very fancy restaurants do and um you know it was, it was on this menu and we said hey let's just go for it i love caesar salad so i knew that that was something i wanted to experience and then yeah our chateau briand chunk of meat you know they bring it out table side and carve it for you and then you each get a portion of potato pave it's the thomas keller recipe we were told um it was phenomenal it was so good oh and we each got a perfectly roasted head of garlic as well yeah that was delicious and um yeah well every bite was, was so it was good so good yeah i mean it was definitely something that um was again very expensive very fine dining steakhouse you know extravagant extravagant over the top even but it was it was very good yeah yeah for sure so the chateaubriand i think was 135 for two so then each person's you know 70 bucks or so and i think we agreed like if you were to order go to a, you know a normal restaurant and order that kind of filet cut and a side of potato pave it'd probably be like 50 55 dollars yeah somewhere in there so that you know whatever there's an upcharge for the show and the ambiance and everything but it was, it was a very 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 expensive meal you know four four dollar signs top yeah. top end right but you know it's something that we haven't done before and you know it was a really cool experience and i think that's you know when you're when you have the opportunity to do really cool experiences i think sometimes it can really be worth it right well i, I think, think my point also is like the steak price felt sure more reasonable maybe than the caesar salad price <laughs> for <laughs> I, what you get i agree I, I would agree with that yeah for sure the uh the caesar was yeah definitely it was really good but it's 22 dollars for a caesar salad <laughs> no i mean they could have should have tried yeah, yeah. It, it, it makes us cringe a little bit but i mean we can't we're not we're not gonna be hypocrites here and say you know we're yeah yeah it, it was something that was very extravagant over the top um but it was very delicious and certainly a splurge um it's not something we think we'll ever be doing in the near future um at least at least um restaurant wise yeah i don't think yeah, so no so yeah that was our whole meal we did have leftovers we also had leftover wine we are staying at the hotel so they were more than happy to let us you know just take our wine bottle and our wine glasses up to our room and they packed up our leftovers really nicely so that'll be a good snack either later or tomorrow morning but all in all um you know tax and tip and everything it was like 350 dollars <laughs> rough yeah um which is i mean that's got to be the most we've ever spent for one meal oh like by far by far yeah yeah easily um but yeah we when, when i booked this i knew it would be a very extra over the top extravagant situation i was pretty mentally prepared for like 300 ish so it wasn't that much more um we did tip i think fairly generously but i think the team very much deserved it yeah i agree i mean this was very much akin to going to like uh 
you know, spending $125, $150 per person before tax and tip at like a Michelin star tasting. Like that's the kind of uh, meal we went for today. Yeah. Um, oh, they do give you an amuse-bouche also, <laughs> you know, quote unquote free of charge. You're obviously paying for your meal. You just get a bite. Yeah. Yeah. You got one little bite. Ours was um, a tuna tartare, salmon tartare. Salmon tartare. Yeah. It, it, it was basically good. tasted like lox and bagels. Yeah. Uh, but it was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smoked salmon with onion. Yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, Enjoyed. we had a really nice meal. I think it was a nice time. Obviously, like I said, it's extremely expensive, so definitely not for everyone. Definitely for a special occasion. But if you're looking for an excellent steak, I think it's probably one of the best steaks we've ever had. Yeah, we carved it table side, right? I mean, I've never had that before. Yeah. Right, and um, it was very cool. Yeah, I sure. would recommend it under certain circumstances. If you have the disposable income. Yeah, and I would say it, it's certainly, I didn't feel like it was 100% worth it as I was eating the salad. But then I felt like, oh man, as I'm eating the steak, yeah. this is really, and eating the potato pave. Um, so good. It was so good. Yeah, that I like, definitely, I was like, okay, now I'm, I'm now I'm starting to buy into the price hype a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know if it was really worth it, but I certainly enjoyed it. And recommend that type of steakhouse experience if you've never done it before. Um, you know, doing it for like, you know, a big birthday, a milestone occasion, anniversary. Um, you know, kids are staying at a friend's house and you got a night out. You know, it would be very, very fun. Yeah. And in my opinion, I mean, if you're thinking about dropping several hundred dollars at Yachtsman Steakhouse or Le Cellier, I might come here instead. It's definitely more out of the way. We're out, you know, the Waldorf's over by Disney Springs. So depending on where you're staying or where you're going to be during the day, it's less convenient. But the quality is much better. Yeah, I, I would agree that it certainly has an edge above, you know, a, a Disney steakhouse for sure. Um, certainly not as convenient location wise and probably a little bit more expensive, to be honest. But if you're going to be paying in that price tier, um, it's very good. And I wouldn't say it's not really kid friendly either. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I would bring my children here. No, they would be. I don't have children, but my pretend <laughs> children. It's not a place for kids, basically. Yeah, it's it's very upscale for sure. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed this look at Bull and Bear. We had an amazing dinner. I'm so happy to share it with you. Like we said, you know, if you, if you have a special occasion, you want to drop several hundred dollars. I'd recommend it. You know, if you want to pocket that money, though, and go eat at Shake Shack, no judgment here. Yeah, you'd probably be, uh, honestly, ju just as happy in some cases. Come on. Okay, you, you'd probably be just as full. Okay, maybe, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we hope you found this fun and helpful. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about our experience at Bull and the Bear, you can leave those in the comments down below. We'll do our best to get back to you with a useful answer. We hope the rest of your day is super magical and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD. Okay, bye.